Hi, this is Tiffany Godfrey of CommittedWife.com, and thank you so much for tuning in. I want to talk to you today about a great marriage book that I just finished reading called Love and Respect. The book is called Love and Respect by Dr. Emerson Egeriches. And I'm going to do a book review. I'm going to tell you about this book, how it has helped me, and how you can benefit from reading this book. Let's just talk about life first. I mean, think about marriage. Think about the length of time you've been married to your husband, uh, the ways that you have approached things and how you've approached them differently and how you've handled the conflict in your relationship. You know, I had to consider that as I read this book because my husband is a lot different from me. I'm very black and white, blunt and to the point in your face, yet I'm a very practical person. My husband, on the other hand, is a little gray. And when I say gray, I'm not saying on his spiritual beliefs. I'm talking about how he approaches things. Sometimes he looks at things a little bit deeper than I do. And he takes a little bit longer to make decisions on, on things. And for me, that can be very frustrating. And sometimes I get so irritated that I just go off. <laughs> and, you know, you may be able to identify with me. You may be that type A personality. Your husband's a little more laid back. And sometimes you feel a need to kind of ramp up the conversation, the conflict. You try to do and say things to make him change or get his attention or make him stop being the way he is. Well, that was my problem. And a lot of times I would get frustrated. My husband would get frustrated. And I realized that on my part, it was a lack of respect. Now, what you don't understand and what this book teaches, first of all, is that respect is a biblical principle. Now, if you know the Bible and you understand what it says, you have probably read that a million times. But I think a lot of times as women, we grow up and we don't understand what respect is. Maybe we haven't seen it modeled in our own home. Maybe we were told to uh, get in order to get respect. We have to earn it. But when it comes to God's word, the Bible says that we are to respect our husbands. And that can be off. That can be awfully hard at times. If you come from a single fam family household where your mother raised you, you never saw how a man conducted himself or you never saw the men in your life respected. Um, and at that point, you have to make a major paradigm shift. You have to be willing to say, you know what, God, I'm doing this not just for myself, not just for my husband, but because I love and obey you. And that's what the book talks about, love and respect. Men so desperately need our respect. And we have to do it, first of all, for God. How much do you love God? You know, um, it talks about the fact that marriage is really a test of your love and commitment to God. How committed to God are you? It it does have a section in there or some sections in there for men. But because I'm talking to you, married woman, understand that your husband, more than anything, more than love, more than compassion, needs respect. I know we need love, but they need respect. They need to know that we honor them even when they don't deserve it. Because this book does a really good job about talking about how a lot of times men don't deserve the honor that we're to give them. And it also shows some practical points on how we can give them respect and what to do um, if we have not really gotten the concept. You know, the funny thing is, as I was reading this book, I started sharing some of these concepts with my husband. And my husband came to the realization that, you know, that really was the missing link because I asked him, do you think I respect you? And of course, he said sometimes and, you know, I would probably agree with him. But I gave him some specific examples on when the conflict grew to a higher height and attitudes started flying. And we came to the conclusion that I was not showing him the respect that he deserve based on the word of God and I had to really check myself and say okay I have to love this man whether he has an attitude whether he's showing love that day whether I feel loved by him because I have to understand that when I give him respect God will give me the love that I need hopefully by my husband but God has so many ways of loving us and sometimes I think when we uh, try to respect our husbands we fear that we'll be used as a doormat and we've got to just go back to the word of God that says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. 
God will be there for you. And we've got to understand that God will deal with our husbands because one thing about this book that I like is it shows many true life stories about women who have learned to show their husbands respect over a period of time and their marriages were completely changed. Of course, there was some where respect was shown and things didn't change, but that's when you have to say, okay, I'm doing this not just for my husband, but I'm doing this because of my commitment to God. Because what it boils down to is God's going to hold you accountable for what you do. He's going to hold you accountable for your reactions to your husband, whether he's good, bad, wrong, or indifferent. So you've got to think in terms of that. The book also talks about uh, a term called the crazy cycle. The crazy cycle is when you're not respecting him. He's not loving you because just like men uh, require respect, women require love. And it, it becomes a vicious cycle. Well, if my husband's not going to show me love, I'm not giving him respect. So at what point will the madness stop? What point will the crazy cycle stop? Well, I'm a firm believer, my sister, if you are listening to this and you're on the crazy cycle right now, you are responsible for starting out with showing your husband respect. Why? Because you're listening and you're getting this information. I really enjoyed this book. This book just really painted the picture of how we are to show respect. You know, I knew that going into my marriage that I was supposed to show respect to my husband, but I didn't really understand how I didn't really understand the logic. The bottom line is because God wants us to do that. And you've got to make up in your mind. Am I willing to put my pride aside, put my hurt aside and understand that when I do my part, God is going to take care of me? Or do you want to take on the crazy cycle and continue disrespecting your husband while he continues to not love you? Somebody has to take the first step. Somebody has to be the bigger person. And I believe that as you learn to show respect on a consistent basis, God will repay you and God will allow that husband to show you the love that you need because we do as women we so desperately need it sometimes it's tempting to, to get love from someone else to hear the precious words of maybe even another man who you know is just treating us better than our husbands are but I'm a firm believer that if you spend time with God and you get to learn the principles that he's trying to teach you you'll be able to do your part remember it's not just about uh, respecting your husband but it's also about you doing what God has called you to do. I would definitely recommend this book. I probably would recommend this book for every married couple, but in particular, you as a married woman, because a lot of marriages have ended partially because the woman never learned to respect her husband. And I want to ask you, is your marriage worth saving or are you willing to give it up because you won't change your way of thinking, your attitude, your sarcasm when it comes to dealing with your husband? The one thing about this book that was a bit much, it was a big book and some of the chapters were a little lengthy, but I do believe that every word in that book has helped me to become a better wife. And I believe in turn, my husband's going to show more love to me. I'm learning just like everybody else because I didn't understand how important respect was to a man, but you've got to understand that there are a lot of things that you can change. Your attitude towards your husband can change the atmosphere of the marriage. It can make your husband come home every night. It can make him give you roses, but you've got to be willing to do it and do it consistently. So go ahead and get your copy of love and respect. If you click the link below, you can go ahead and purchase it on Amazon right now. God bless you. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a contact at Tiffany at CommittedWife.com. Again, get the book Love and Respect by Dr. Emerson Egerich. God bless you and have a great day.